This module is going to focus on goal setting, creating a framework for your success, and the methodology behind the Professional Career Transformations course. Let's start by diving into the Education Certification Experience Framework. I personally believe that the most important building blocks to creating a six-figure career is education, certification, and experience. The ECE framework will help you develop a big picture view of where you came from and where you're going. It's a way to assist you in visualizing your success. It will guide you through logging, tracking, and forecasting your six-figure career progress. Having a way to visually track your progress will help you be accountable. If you can see what you're doing, you can immediately understand what you're lacking, where the gaps are, and what improvements you need to make. This framework can also help you realize what you're doing right and encourage you to maintain good habits. So what do I mean by education, certification, and experience? By education, I mean that in the traditional sense. Colleges, universities, and trade schools. More specifically, places like University of Florida, Wellington College, UC Davis, St. Petersburg College, Madison Area Technical College, University of Phoenix, Military Advanced Individual Training, and the like. The certification portion refers to governing bodies that oversee industry-specific licensing and certification. Examples of this are Program Management Institute, like PMP, International Information Systems Security Consortium certifications, like CISSP, Cisco, like CCNA, Microsoft, like MCSE, or CompTIA, like A+, or Security+. Experience concerns your job history, any professional experience you had, and the skills you picked up along the way. So IT manager, help desk technician, network engineer, program manager, director of operations, business analyst, financial analyst, or business development manager. All of that is experience. Within those experiences lie the skills that you should add to your ECE framework. So as you advance in your career, the goal is to keep adding to your ECE framework. Each position gives you new, relevant experiences. Make sure you're tracking all of your skill sets so that when you want to move forward, you can point to things that you've learned and how you've used them on your job. Tracking your progress with the ECE frameworks gives you a chance to clearly outline in your own mind your abilities and value, which you can then express to your employer and lobby for advancement. For future help with understanding this concept, I provided you with a blank framework and a version of my own personal ECE framework. If you're looking at the ECE framework from left column to right, what you'll notice is on, in the very left column, you'll, you'll list out all of your education. In the center, you'll list all of your certifications. And on the right side, you'll list all of your experience. You'll start at the bottom of the ECE framework with your first year of experience. For example, if mine is 1998, and you'll go all the way up to 2022. And you're gonna list every single accomplishment you've had in all three categories from bottom to top. This is a vital part of tracking your progress and building your career. Thank you.